on the way down. Never mind that. Tell me on the way down. Oh. <laughs> Let me get out the door. Where do you want this? <laughs> you, don't, you don't know what you've done there, huh? No, what's the matter? Put the box down. <laughs> Would you mind opening that door a crack for me there? Sure. There's no doorknob. Fancy that. Uh, how, how are you supposed to open the door? Oh, with the key. Where's the key? Well, if you could open that door with a crack there, you'd see the key sticking out of the lock on the other side of that door. You mean we're locked in here? I think you have grasped the situation. <laughs> All right, all right, we just, uh, we just break the door down, that's uh, all. Uh, 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 you hoil your shoulder into that door, you're gonna have two armpits on the same side. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Gee, I'm sorry I did that! <laughs> if I wasn't so mad at you, I'd laugh like hell. <laughs> well, I am not the one who left the key on the other side of the door. Oh, I am not the one who slammed and locked the door with the key on the other side. <laughs> I am not the one who didn't say, don't close the door, the key is on the other side. <clears throat> I am not the one who sponged off of me for five years and didn't know nothing but the name of me, Ted. <laughs> I am not the one who sits and watches Korean midgets wrestling on Channel 5 and thinks it's educational TV. <laughs> the one that sits in front of a television set for a whole hour staring at the same orchestra. I like symphonies. If you like symphonies, you're gonna love this. <laughs> no dumbbell. <laughs> all right, all right, let's just, just relax, calm down. Well, analyze our predicament. Ah, forget the predicament. Analyze your head. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Oh, well, there ain't nothing to do. We're stuck here till Harry comes in and opens up the gate tomorrow. <sighs> wish there was a window in here. You get your wish, there is. <laughs> Where? It's up on the far wall there. Then that's it. That's it. You can't get we out can of there. We can get out of here. You can't get out of there. Why not? In the first place, there ain't no catch on that window by which you open that window. So we'll force it open. In the second place, that window is painted shut until the second coming. <laughs> then we'll break the glass. Third place. There's bars on the window. Now you got three. It's all right, let, let's see if we can really talk this thing through. Now, first, we'll take your heart. Why my heart? Well, my heart, your heart. It, it, it's the heart that pumps the blood, right? Yeah. Now, does your heart ask you who gave you the blood? No, it's just like the water pump in a car. The, the water pump in a car? <laughs> you get all choked up about some ding bash story about chasing an ice truck, and you sit here and you tell me the human heart's like a water pump in a car? <laughs> the human heart is the most important, the most emotional organ of your body. It's where all your, it's where your love and your romance is kept there. <laughs> Everybody knows that. We ain't machines yet, Sonny Boy. Yeah, but that, that's the point I'm trying to make, Archie. The heart is a machine. That's why they can give you a new one nowadays when the old one packs up. It's just like a, it's just like a car. It ain't like a car! <laughs> Keep your voice down. <laughs> Archie, I, I'm just talking about transplants. Oh, now, wait a minute. Now, if you're going to start talking about transplants, you're going to make my print for me. 
Now, the first time out with them transplants, they put a woman's heart in a man's body, right? Yeah, so what? So it's tough enough for a woman and a man to live together in the same house to mind the same body. <laughs> Hey, uh, how would you like to try this here chair? Because that one's mine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what kind of a name is Stivic? <laughs> huh? Where you from? Oh, uh, Chicago. I mean, what's your nationality? I'm an American. <laughs> I mean, where are your people from? They're from Poland. <laughs> that would make you Polish then. Yeah. <laughs> Anything interesting in the paper? Yeah, 200 arrested at Vietnam Day peace demonstration. 200. They should have thrown a whole bunch of them in the can. Look at that picture there. Here they are, throwing all kinds of junk and debris at officers of the law, <laughs> desecrating on the American flag. What the hell are them peace sticks want, anyhow? Well, I think they just don't like the idea of America fighting an illegal and immoral war. Well, if they don't like it, they can lump it. <laughs> Take it down the road and dump it. <laughs> what are you, you saying America love it or leave it? That's right. It's a free country, so am's great. Well, that would include me too, Mr. Bunker. Then toodly you to you too. <laughs> well, well, what would our leaving solve? I mean, with or without protesters, this country would still have the same problems. What problems? Well, it's the war, the racial problem, the economic problem, the pollution oh, problem. Oh, come on, if you want a nitpick. <laughs> nitpick? Let me tell you something, Mr. Punker. No, let me tell you something, Mr. Stivic. You are a meathead. <laughs> what is it? A meathead, dead from the neck up. Meathead. <laughs> oh, jeez, look at this. Rip Van Meathead. <laughs> Get up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Get up. out of the pants. Hey, what are you I'm doing? Seize your pants. Get them on, you, huh? I can never depend on you for the hold. Hold it. What are you doing here? You're putting your pants on over your pajamas. It's all right. It'll be cold on the boat. I don't have any long underwear. All right, just hurry you up. Shush. Shush. Why are you shushing me? I don't want to wake up Gloria. Gloria ain't here. She's downstairs. <laughs> What's she doing downstairs? She's sitting in a chair down there. She's all right. How do you know? She told me. What'd she say? She said, I'm all right. <laughs> well, will you hurry it up, please? Oh, I was worried about her. Last night, she wouldn't talk to me. It was like there was a pane of glass between us. Do you know that we don't catch that fishing boat? There ain't going to be no deep sea fishing. We'll have to stay on the dock with the old people here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. What are you doing here? What? What about the other foot? There ain't no sock on it. I'll get to it. <laughs> Don't you know that the whole world puts on a sock and a sock and a shoe and a shoe? <laughs> and... I like to take care of one foot at a time. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. It's just as quick my way. Wait a minute, that ain't the prank. You see what I don't don't keep doing it. Listen to me. <laughs> Suppose there's a fire in the house and you gotta run for your life. Your way, all you got on is one shoe and a sock. My way, you got on a sock and a sock. You see your reading. <laughs> Suppose it's raining or snowing outside. Your way, with a sock on each foot, my feet would get wet. My way, with a sock and a shoe on one foot, I could hop around and stay dry. I think you've been hopping around on your head. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen to me. <laughs> Supposing the other sock's got a hole in it. It doesn't have a hole in it. I said supposing right, it's got suppose a hole. it has a hole. All right, it's got a hole in it. So, you ain't got another matching pair, so what do you got to do? Your way, you got to take off a whole shoe and a sock. My way, all you got to do is take off one sock. All right, if it'll make you happy, I'll start all over again. No, 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 you're halfway through. No, gee, get on with it. We're in a hurry. <laughs> you can start doing it the right way tomorrow morning. And do it that way for the rest of your life. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't stop my daughter, and look who she married. She told me she was in love with the guy. I had to welcome her with open arms. You mean yelling mouth? That's all you ever do is yell at the poor guy? Everybody knows how you treat the guy? That ain't so. I treat him almost like a son. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Don't mention it, Misha. <laughs> There you go. Already you bad mouth. Just let me hear you tell him you love him. Oh, come on with Go on! Tell him. Love is never having to say it, right, Dad? <laughs> the meathead is right. I can see that. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> what are you talking about? You almost finished your peas there, and you ain't even started that other, what do you call it? The zucchini? Yeah, whatever. Well, I was gonna eat the zucchini after I finished the peas. Then when are you gonna get to the turkey? After the zucchini. That's dumb. <laughs> like a normal person? What's normal? You're supposed to eat a little of the peas, then a little bit of the cuisine there. <laughs> Zucchini. Whatever. Then you take a little of the turkey there. You see that? So you get a good mixture there. That's what you call a balanced meal. Arch, you've been watching me eat for six years. How come you never mentioned this before? Because you were eating slow tonight before your fork was always a blow. <laughs> Don't keep doing what I tell you is wrong there. I'm trying to teach you something about your system there. Listen, listen to me. You're supposed to eat a little of the peas, then a little of the cuisine there, then a little of the turkey, so that you get the even mix going down, see, and go to all parts of your body even at the same time. See what I'm talking about? The way you eat there, or lump of this, or lump of that, or lump of this over here. Everything goes to different parts in different ways, see? For instance, I don't know, well, maybe, you, maybe your lung could get all of the peace. <laughs> the cuisine could all rush to a foot. <laughs> Turkey, I don't know, maybe the turkey all go to your heart. There's too much meat in your heart. You can get what you call a coronial trombone system. You know, I never thought of that. Well, I'm telling you. That's why your most perfect food is your sandwich. And especially your hero sandwich, see? Because everything you got in there, you got in there, your, your meats is there, your cheese is there, your tomatoes, sauce is in there, delicious bread on the top, delicious bread on the bottom. You take a bite of that, and everything is all nice and mixed up there, and it goes down, all mixed, see, with each bite. <laughs> I 
have a sandwich meeting. <laughs>